Hey babe, do you got everything ready for it yet? Yep, got the 13 millimeter and the 10 millimeter. We are just missing the rock sliders. I know, they're um, off of delivery, right? Yeah, they should be here any minute. Cool. Speaking, Speaking of, which, of which, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go get them. I know. Oh, I'm excited. Are you guys gonna attempt to carry these things in? Because aren't they like 125 pounds? Um, yeah. yeah, this set is 125 or 124. So what are we going? Like 20 pounds a piece to 60 pounds a piece? Uh, I think the factory ones are about 20, mm -hmm. but they're about 62 when you all said and done each. This should be pretty interesting. Hey, this, this Floyd. Are you ready? <laughs> Always <laughs> in the garage. We're gonna do our what? Best. We're gonna go through the house because we have the heater on. <laughs> <laughs> How heavy is that? It's not too bad. Describe it to the viewers. Um, well, I feel really awkward. Alright. Pivot. <laughs> pivot! I said pivot. Wait, oh god, no. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. That way. <laughs> oh, this isn't working. Hold on. I gotta, like, move. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you turning red? Because it's my second skin color. Um, <laughs> Just go straight, put it right there next to there. Alright. How was that? Oh, my hands hurt. I think I need to go to the gym. It's a nice packing job. Yeah, I always, online, there was people that order their sizes that come all bent up, but the way that they're using the pack of styrofoam and everything, it looks like they're going to be pretty good. What do they look like? You want to open it up for me? Who's that good? They're fancy. That's awesome. Yeah, they look, they look too bad, actually. Uh, check it out. So they do, they use all the factory mount points. Oh, good. So they mount up just how the, how the factory one was. And the install should be pretty easy then. Yeah, we just need to figure out what side goes which way. All right. Looks stormy. I love you. Look at her tail. Wag, 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 wag. So the first step here is to take off the factory slider. And in order to do that, you're going to want a 10 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter ratchet. So let's get started. So your 13s are going to be up here. There's four of them. And then there are eight tens on either side of this bracket right here. Eight. When we get them all off, the slider will still be able to uh, sit here. Not fall on you. Yeah. Ugh. I want to point out that with these bolts the way that they are, you don't have to worry about it falling on you. So you don't have to, um, you can just undo all of them and then pull them off after at the end. And then uh, this is... This is what you're left with. Now that we got the factory slider off, I wanted to point out something to you guys. You have your holes here for the bolts and they are not even. So on all eight of these, you're gonna have to re-drill them to be consistent and even. So that way you can put the aftermarket, the DV8 um, slider on. Uh, does the DV8 actually fit in here, but some of them don't fit quite as well because the sheet metal isn't drilled correctly. Right, so this one right here, for example, is closer to the size, but it, it even goes back further here, so it's more angled. And then this one, um, the hole back here is smaller than here, so it's just better to do all of them to make sure that they're all even. What's funny is, like, that's the size of the holes, and then this one's totally different. Like, it's... It's a crappy, it's what it is, is all the sheet metal goes down mm -hmm. in the truck. And then the hole was barely big enough to even fit the factory bolt through it. Correct. And it, it doesn't line up perfectly from the factory. So you have to make them all match. No wonder why we couldn't get the fit. Are we almost done yet? Um, yes. Yeah, it would be nice if Jeep made it all consistent. But if Jeep was consistent with the holes when it was made at the factory that 
the DV8 slider. slider would not require any drilling. So keep that in mind. All the Jeeps might be a little different. Yours may not have that problem, I don't know, but um, do make sure that you check the holes to make sure that they are all the same size, and if not, a little drilling might be required. Um, spray painting the spot where we had to drill it out so it doesn't rust after we put it on. Who thinks it's gonna go on the right the first time? I, am I think so. Hopefully, oh, Maya's supervising. Okay. So this is really like a two-person thing, but it's the much easier. The way the whole lineup probably needs three. It's much easier with three. Okay, my holes are in. Mine are in. Mine are good. All right. Okay, so. That was so much easier. <laughs> right, so what I've learned is when you drill the holes, it fits perfectly. Okay. <laughs> Mm. That's how the other one was. Maya, look up. Then I have this one that's way, way, way off. This one. Okay, so those two? Okay. You want to pull yeah. it? Pull down. So just like that, it is all done. We did have to drill the holes in the um, cab a little bit because the factory sliders when we hit stuff on the trail, it warped everything and bent everything and everything. So we had to correct all that. These sliders, these DV8 box sliders are in sold. And that's what they look like. So the other day when we were working on the rock sliders that we replaced, I wasn't feeling very good and I wanted to be the one to show you guys how it came out. So I'm going to show you guys over here. So we ended up going with the DV8 off-road rock sliders here because the panels underneath come off. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber already, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for the next videos that we have coming out. And uh, until next time, you guys.